This is your AESH Logistics News Minute for Tuesday, May 24, 2022. In mainstream news. CNBC reports, British Airways owner IAG to order 50 Boeing 737 MAX jets. British Airways owner IAG said on Thursday it has agreed to order 50 Boeing 737 MAX jets for delivery between 2023 and 2027, in a vote of confidence in the struggling U.S. plane maker. The order for 25 737 8 to 225 737 MAX 10 jets to be used for short-haul operations at IAG-owned airlines is worth $6.25 billion at list prices, though the company said it had negotiated a substantial discount, as is typical in the industry. IAG, which owns Ireland's Aer Lingus and Spain's Iberia, and Vueling in addition to British Airways, also has a further 100 purchase options as part of the deal, which is subject to shareholder approval. Wall Street Journal reports, shipping bottlenecks hit Port of New York and New Jersey. The cargo surge swamping U.S. ports for almost two years is starting to overwhelm the Port of New York and New Jersey. A backup of container ships waiting outside the East Coast's busiest port last week reached an average of 14 vessels a day, the highest it has been since the COVID-19 pandemic began battering supply chains. Port officials are talking to ocean carriers, truckers and warehouses to ease the logjams amid expectations of a stronger rush of shipments in summer as the peak shipping season begins. Supply chain digital.com headline, Logistics Roundup, J.B. Hunt and Uber Freight Buoyant. J.B. Hunt reports record demand for services, Shell first to use Rotterdam Port Hydrogen Pipeline, Uber Freight combines with Transplace. Scala growing fast J.B. Hunt reports stronger than ever demand in a recent call with analysts, U.S. multimodal logistics giant J.B. Hunt said demand for its services is at an all-time high. Demand for the asset side of our business is the strongest I've seen in my 27 years at the company, Chief Commercial Officer Shelley Simpson said. In logistics and transportation publications headlines, TransInfo reports on its front page, police checks find defective lorries and truckers driving in their socks. The Buchberg police checked 166 vehicles during a recent five-day roadside inspection program that focused on road safety issues. Both cars and trucks were inspected during the five-day period, which saw the police identify cases of drunk and unsafe driving, as well as defective vehicles. On three occasions, foreign HGV drivers were found to be driving their vehicles in their socks, which is a crime in Germany. In another headlines of TransInfo, Royal Mail plans 50 new postal drone routes in three years. The Royal Mail intends to step up its use of drone technology by creating over 50 new postal drone routes over the next three years. The plans, which are subject to Civil Aviation Authority CA, approval, are part of a new partnership with the Windracers Logistics Drone Company. TTNews.com headline, Hyundai announces $5.5 billion EV plant in Georgia. Hyundai Motor Group confirmed May 20 the company will spend $5.5 billion on a huge electric vehicle plant near Savannah that will employ thousands, a deal Georgia's governor called the largest economic development project in the state's history. Hyundai Motor Group CEO Jihoon Chang made the announcement with Governor Brian Kemp at the site of the future factory in Bryan County, where state and local officials purchased a flat, sprawling tract for $61 million last year in hopes of luring a major manufacturer. Logistics manager headline, Whistle to invest £12 million into fleet. Logistics specialists and e-fulfillment provider Whistle has begun a £12 million fleet expansion investment. Over 12 months the company will update its fleet with Eurovi compliant, i7 Peugeot Boxer 435 vans, 2618T and 1726T ridge trucks, and 126 Renault T-range tractor units. In addition, it will be bringing in 115 new trailers including 70 new box trailers, 30 new curtain trailers that will be XL rated, ensuring better load security, and a further 15 curtain XL rated trailers with tail lifts fitted. This has been your AESH Logistics News Minute for Tuesday, May 24, 2022. If you want more global logistics news and real-time alerts, hit the subscribe button now and follow us on social media.